Hello everyone, welcome back to Blender Express. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a tire dust trail in Blender. Let's get started. First, place the 3D cursor at the tire's empty object in the center. This will help us position our dust emitter correctly. Next, add a cylinder, rotate by 90 degree and scale it along the x-axis to stretch it out. Then, scale it again to match the size of the tire. To make editing easier, isolate the cylinder by pressing slash forward slash symbol on your keyboard. Now, enter edit mode and delete both the left and right faces of the cylinder. Now, move the 3D cursor to another tire by pressing Shift S, then selecting cursor to select it. Click on the cylinder we just created and duplicate it by pressing Shift D. Then, press Shift S and 8 to align it to the new tire position. You can repeat this for all the tires, but for now, I'll demonstrate with just these two. Then, parent the cylinder to the tire's empty object by pressing Ctrl P and selecting Object Keep Transform. This ensures that the cylinder rotates along with the tire. Now, go to the outliner, select the two cylinders, and rename them as emitter left and emitter right for better organization. Next, select one of the cylinders, Go to the Physics Properties, and enable Fluid. Change the type to Flow and set the Flow Behavior to Inflow. Now, set the Initial Temperature to 10 and the Density to 0.1. Under the Flow Source section, check the box for Is Planar. For Surface Emission, change the value to 0.1 and set Volume Emission to 0. Select the other emitter, then select the emitter that we just set up. Press Ctrl L and choose Link Modifiers to apply the same settings and don't forget to save your Blender file. Next, add a cube to the scene. This will act as the fluid domain, defining the area where the dust will appear. Scale the cube to cover the area where you want the dust trail to be. Now, go to the physics properties, enable fluid, and change the domain type to gas. Then, adjust the following settings, resolution divisions, 256, time scale, 0 0.5, CFL number, 2, time step maximum, 4, time step minimum, 1. Scroll down to the gas section and set, buoyancy density, 0 0.1, heat, 1, vorticity, 0 0.05. 
Also, check the dissolve box and the noise box to add more detail to the dust particles. Now, go to the cache section and set a folder for the baked data to be saved. By default, the cache is stored in a temporary folder and will be lost when you reopen the Blender file. Set the frame start and frame end according to your animation length. Change the cache type to modular, and check the box for is resumable to allow rebaking if needed. Once everything is set, click Bake Data. This process may take some time depending on your computer's performance. Once it's done, scroll down and click Bake Noise to add finer dust details. Once the noise baking is complete, we can check our smoke trail in the viewport. If everything is set up correctly, we should see the dust trail as a black shadow since it has no material yet. To add a material, split the viewport into two and switch one of them to the shader editor. Click New Material, then delete the principled BSDF node and replace it with a principled volume node. Set the density to 10. Next, add a color ramp node and change the white color to a shade that fits the scene. I will choose an orange color. Before rendering, you can disable shadows for the volume if it appears too dark. To do this, select the domain, go to Object Properties, scroll down to Ray Visibility, and uncheck the shadow box. Now, it's time to render. Go to the Output Properties tab and set the resolution, I'll choose 1920 by 1080 Select the frame rate and adjust the frame range according to your animation. Set the output file path to the folder where you want to save your rendered images. Scroll down and choose your file format for the image sequence. Under Color Management, set View Transform to Filmic for a more natural look and choose Look, Medium High Contrast for better color depth. Finally, Go to the Render menu and select Render Animation, or use the shortcut Ctrl F12, and that's it. You now have a realistic tire dust trail effect in Blender. Play your animation to see the dust dynamically follow the tires, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Blender tutorials. See you in the next video.